Hello everyone. The topic we cover today cerebrovascular accident also known as brain attack or stroke. It is one of the important disease condition in the central nervous system in medical surgical nursing. So let's see what is the cerebral vascular accident. Cerebrovascular accident or heart attack or stroke it is a sudden loss of brain function as a result of disruption of the blood supply to a part of brain. And also you can see it is a acute neurological injury due to the brain hemorrhage and brain ischemia. So let's see what are the main etiology or risk factors of cerebrovascular accident. The cerebrovascular accident etiology classified into modified risk factors and non-modified risk factors. The modified risk factors such as hypertension, diabetes mellitus, cardiovascular diseases, dyslipidemia, smoking or alcoholism, asymptomatic carotid, stenosis, obesity and lack of physical inactivity and also you can see the sickle cell anemia. These all are the modifiable risk factors. And also we can see the what are the non-modifiable risk factors. The non-modifiable risk factors such as age, gender, hereditary and prior uh, attack or prior stroke. So these all are the non-modifiable. So let's discuss what are the types of cerebrovascular accident or stroke. It is mainly two types are there. First one is the ischemic stroke. Second one is the hemorrhagic stroke. The ischemic stroke, it is about 85% of your strokes are ischemic strokes only. The ischemic strokes means when the arteries or blood vessel block with the thrombus or atherosclerosis that is disruption or decrease the blood to the brain that is caused the ischemic stroke. The ischemic stroke classified into three. First one is the large artery thrombotic stroke. Second one is the small penetrating artery thrombotic stroke. And third one is the cardiogenic embolic stroke. The large artery thrombotic stroke means when the large artery block with the thrombus or atherosclerosis that is disruption of the blood supply. That is formation of the thrombus and occlusion of arteries and blood vessels. So second one is the small penetrating artery thrombotic stroke means it is occlusion and uh, thrombus formation in the small arteries. Third one is the cardiogenic thrombotic or car cardiogenic embolic stroke. Here you can see that due to the valvular disorder and also left ventricular thrombi that is leads to the cardiogenic thrombotic or cardiogenic embolic stroke. So these are the ischemic stroke. Second type is the hemorrhagic stroke. The hemorrhagic strokes occur when the leakage or rupture of the blood vessel in the brain that is called the hemorrhagic strokes. The hemorrhagic strokes due to aneurysm and arterial venous malformation. So here also you can see the two subdivision that is the subarachnoid hemorrhage and the intracerebral hemorrhage. The subarachnoid hemorrhage, the bleeding or hemorrhage occur between the skull and brain that is called subarachnoid hemorrhage. The second subclassification is the intracerebral hemorrhage, the bleeding occur in the brain that is called the intracerebral hemorrhage. That is uh, hemorrhagic stroke, it is about a 50 percentage of stroke is and also responsibility for 30 percentage of stroke death. So this is the types of uh, stroke. First one is the ischemic stroke, second one is the hemorrhagic stroke. Then next we will discuss about the signs and symptoms or clinical manifestation of stroke. Here you can see weakness and paralysis and numbness, tingling and loss of sensation, voice changes, difficulty in swallowing and visual changes and personality changes, mood changes and also uncontrollable eye movement and eye drooping and also you can see vertigo. A patient is unconscious. These all are the common symptoms of the cerebrovascular accident or stroke symptoms. Next, we can see what are the effect of stroke. The stroke effect are hemiplegia, dysphasia and apaxia and hemiapaxia and also you can see the autonomic disturbances. First here you can see what is the hemiplegia. Hemiplegia it is type of paralysis. The paralysis of the one side of the body is called hemiplegia. Paralysis you know that is the inability to move. That is the 
paralysis. Second one is the dysphasia and the aphaxia. It is the inability to produce the speech or loss of language is called the dysphasia and aphasia. Next one is the hemiapaxia. Hemianapsia is this the loss of vision one or both eyes. Last one is the autonomic disturbances. These are the major effect of the stroke. So next we will discuss about the diagnostic evaluations or investigations. The diagnostic evaluations such as history collection, physical examination, neurological assessment, CT scan, MRI and uh, you can see the lipid profile and the coagulant profile uh, echocardiography. These all are the investigation we can do. So under the neurological examination we can do the fast assessment and also Glasgow Goma scale. So here we can see what is the Glasgow Coma Scale Assessment. It is one of the main important assessment we can do the or analyze the unconscious or conscious level of the patient and the stability of neurological function. So here we can assess the Glasgow Coma Scale uh, for eye, eye response, verbal response and motor response. So, three assessment we have to do for the score we have given 15. So, if the patient is mild injury or a mild consciousness or unconscious, we can give the 13 to 15 mark. And if the moderate in case, we can provide the, the score between the 9 to 12. And in severe case, the score between 3 to 8. So, as per that, we will get the idea about the patient consciousness. And second assessment is the fast assessment. The fast assessment is recommended from the National uh, Stroke Association. The fast assessment here will assess the face, arm, speech, time. So, fast means F for face. Face here, we have to ask the patient to smile and assess the uh, one side of the face is dropping or not. And second here, we can see the arms as a arms activities. Here we have to ask the patient to raise both arms and assess the one arm uh, drift to downwards. And third one is the speech. Here we have to ask the patient to repeat a simple sentence and also we have to see the, the speech or volume by selected or difficulty in speech. The last one is the time. Here we have to assess any kind of the sign observed above should be uh, timely called the emergency services. That is the fast assessment for the neurological assessment. Next, uh, we'll go for the management. Management is the medical management firstly when the patient arrives the hospital we should do the ABCs assessment. ABCs means uh, airway breathing circulations. So after assessment we have to provide the complete bed rest with the sedation as needed. And also we have to provide the oxygen supply with the otherwise we have to wear the mechanical ventilations. And also we have to provide the patient a uh, start the pharmacological treatment. Here we can provide the medication such as antihypertensive drugs, anticoagulant drugs for the thrombus or emboli and also anti-inflammatory or oncotic diuretics. It is helped to decrease the uh, intracranial pressure and decrease the cerebral edema. And also we have to provide the nutritional uh, by parental route. Otherwise, it is we have to patient is unable to swallow. You can go for the nasogastric tube feeding and these all are the main important medical management. So and also here you can see the surgical management. The surgery you can go for the carotid endorectomy or uh, stent replacement. It helps to improve the cerebral blood flow uh, when the blockage of the carotid artery and it is remove the plague or blood clot and it is helped to the uh, good blood circulations. And this all for the medical and surgical nursing. So next we will go for the nursing management. Here we have to assess the patient condition. For assessment we can do the ABC that is airway, breathing, circulation and also Glasgow Coma Scale Assessment and fast assessment and provide the comfortable position. The comfortable position we can provide the low semi-follow position. It helps to decrease the intracranial pressure as well as 
comfortable to the oxygen supply and provide the medication as per the physician order and also we have to provide the nutrition through the nasogastric tube feeding and monitor closely the vital signs if you are noticing any abnormality should inform to your physician and clearly how to monitor intake and output and also provide psychological support if the patient is unconscious we have to provide the oral hygiene and provide health education to the family members so these are all the nursing management so today class we discuss about the cerebrovascular accident and types of the cerebrovascular accident cerebrovascular accident means it is the sudden loss of brain function due to the brain injury or brain ischemia or brain hemorrhage so that is called a stroke or brain attack or cerebrovascular accident hope you all understand the class that's all for today class this is nisha signing off till we meet the next video bye bye